That is so awesome. Hello, darlings. It's been a hot minute. I know I didn't post in a while. Something came up, more on that later. I'm just so excited to go on this bakery tour. So this first bakery is in the UW area by the water. At the site of a former boatyard now stands a bakery and community space called St. Bread, whose portrait is depicted in the stained glass window. Their menu has Scandinavian, French, Japanese, and American influences. They provide outdoor dining spaces, and just a short walk away is also a park. Various seating options offer views of the bay and bridges. It seemed like a romantic idea to eat outside by the water, but it is very chilly right now. So it's actually more romantic and cozy to eat in the car. Uh, this matcha, it's not sweet. It tastes like there's no sugar in it, which is what I like in the morning. It seems like they put some milk in it. First things first, let's have the warm thing. This is the fried egg sandwich with American cheese. Uh, you can choose melon pan or Hawaiian bun. Oh, actually, I didn't choose. I never mentioned what kind of bread. They just gave me the Hawaiian bun. I really wanted the melon pan one though. That looks so fun. It looks kind of like a turtle shell. The second you bite into it, the tastiness just oozes into your soul. I feel like if you order it without the mushroom, it'll be pretty lonely. All right, let's try some pastries. Can you tell how they, I can't talk. It's kind of sticky. So this one is the cardamom knot. This one right here is the yuzu polenta cake, which I'm very excited to try as well. Check out this black sesame bun. Look at those swirls on both sides. Oh, so glazed. My fingers are getting so messy, so fast. It's pretty big. I would have to say it looks more flamboyant than it tastes. Cause there's a lot of black sesame in that inside like each layer but um i'm not really feeling much black sesame onto the cardamom knot so many things swirling <sighs> smells lovely it smells sweeter than what the black sesame bun tasted Ooh, really getting that cardamom personally i recommend this more than the black sesame bun okay next one Yuzu polenta cake. I have a feeling this one's gonna be really good. This one is quite heavy. <laughs> the slice is about, um, I wanna say, at least one and a half inch thick. That's my favorite so far. Mmm, got those crunchy bits. Especially the outside has a crunchy bits. It has a little bit of the gritty crunchiness. Okay, let's have a bite of the icing too. It seems the icing is where the yuzu is. Now, if you look closely at the icing, there's parts where it's like slightly yellow and I have a feeling that might be the yuzu peel embedded in that icing. It's not a strong yuzu flavor, but you definitely feel something citric. Icing is definitely making me a little thirsty. Um, it is the sweetest pastry we've had here. That yuzu polenta cake is making me feel things. It's making me feel alive. Now we have one more pasty to try. Pasty? We have one more pastry to try. It is the butter croissant. It's gonna get messy. It's like flaking all over my car right now. I'm gonna put this bag. Mmm, crispy. Ooh, definitely feeling that butter. Mmm. Some of the best croissants I've ever had in my life were in Paris, Paris. This croissant I just had was better than some of the croissants I had in Paris. On to the next bakery! There's a neighborhood in Seattle called Ballard, and they've got Tall Grass Bakery, known for their handmade artisan bread and granola. Customers from Europe have said their baguettes are just like French baguettes. From the Tall Grass Bakery, we got sesame stick! Because earlier, I didn't feel the sesame from that bun. So we are going to really feel the sesame this time. And then this looks so awesome. This is called the epi. I heard it's like translated as sword. And look at this. Oh, this is going to make a mess for sure in my car. But I will do it just for you. Wow, look at this. <laughs> look at th that is so awesome. Wow. So if you want a piece of that bread, you just like, you know, pop one off. 
from one of the ends. I'm gonna be very careful. Let's eat this at home. Oh, I see um, like pumpkin seeds on that, sesame seeds and poppy. It's raining seeds in this car. <laughs> oh, that smells so nice. I need to put this on a flat area. Okay, I might need to put this in the back. Okay, you go take a nap over there. Got seeds all over my car. There's no like place to eat inside. Uh, basically, it's a place where you take things to go. And I love how you can see everything. Where they make the bread, like you see all the tables, you see all the shelves. It's a very transparent bakery. You see all the action. The lady at the front who makes the granola, she was saying one of her favorites is the fruit scone. And this one has apple in it. Mmm. Okay, you know how some scones, they're very hard? This one, there is a firmness, but it's also soft. While the apple is cooked, it still has some of that fresh crunchiness. It's a perfect amount of sweet. And in terms of like, uh, customers' favorites, I heard the birdseed bran muffin is one of the popular items for customers. And you see that has the uh, pumpkin seed. It looks like that's flax seed. That's got a variety of crunch because of those seeds. Some of it has that like softened crunchiness, others are like more of that dry crunchiness. It's a crunch-tastic muffin. This one seems slightly more sweeter than the scone, but still not too sweet. Now this is something I would eat in the morning um, because it's not too sweet. If it's too sweet, I prefer to save it for the evening because it might make some brain fog. I think Mommy O would really like this. She came back from Hawaii today and I'm gonna see her tomorrow. So let's save the rest and then share with her tomorrow. Oh, and there's raisin in that too. This muffin, it tastes healthy but also enjoyable. Okay, so this cookie I bought for my husband. It's a chocolate cookie. If I'm not filming, I will just give this whole to him. But since I am filming, I will take a bite and give a little review for you. Texture-wise, it's slightly flexible. Pretty soft. Not like super soft, but pretty soft. It's enjoyable. It's a chocolate cookie. That is the sweetest thing that we had so far. Okay, rest is for my mister, my hubby hubs. And now let's not forget about the sesame stick. Definitely tastes sesame. Mm. On the outside, it's not just covered in sesame seeds. Once in a while, there's like that um, gritty looking uh, salt. Like the Malden salt, kind of looks like that. Savory and very sesame. This is the other bread, the sourdough bread. And you can get it whole or you can get it sliced like this. Let's try this sourdough bread. Oh, look who's here. He already got dinner and then some. His name is Whiskey and he loves kimchi. I actually bought this to make panini at home. Let's just take a small slice for now, just to taste it. I can smell some of that sourness already. Chewy in the middle. Mm. It's not super sour though. You could spread butter on there, maybe even like sprinkle on some salt. This next bakery, you gotta order online in advance and it's in Redmond, which is not Seattle, but it's still part of Greater Seattle. So Origin Bakery, they have a sister company called Bobe, uh, so you can get some of their pastries there at Bobe. And Bobe has two locations, one in Kirkland and uh, one in Woodenville. The items we got today, you have to order at least one business day in advance. There are two loaves of bread with a baby bun. This one's a fresh strawberry cream milk bun. I just love how it is so stuffed. Like 50% of it is cream. And it looks like there's brown sugar embedded on the top. And some other items we got. This one's the ube marshmallow cookie. And underneath is the matcha white chocolate chip cookie. Can't wait to bite into it and show you how it looks in the inside. Alrighty, let's head over to Mommy O's. Oh, and I can't wait to try the epi bread with her. I have not broken that bread yet. I wanted to show her that bread in its entirety, in its gloriousness, its full gloriousness, and just share the joy with her. Oh, hello, mommy oh. Hey. I can't wait to show this to you. I know, 
this one. Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> if we had it yesterday, it was probably softer. Mm, but the flavor is very nice. Take it. Kozohe. Mmm. Because sesame. Nutty. Yeah. Sunflower seed. Lots of poppy seed. So I think it will be perfect if you make Korean sandwich. Let's try some other stuff. Let's first try the strawberry cream milk bun. From the side view, it looks kind of like Pac-Man. Have the first bite. Mmm. Look like onions, but they are strawberry. That is so good. Yeah. It tastes like flowers are blooming in my mouth. Like so fresh. It's not like too creamy where it's like after a couple bites you're like, oh, I'm done. It's creamy enough where it's enjoyable, but not so creamy yeah, yeah. where you like can't eat the whole thing. It's very light with cream. It's almost flying away. It tastes very kind of anime. <laughs> Next. Shall we try a cookie or mochi bar? Definitely mochi bar first. <laughs> Mom, mm -hmm. I know you love red bean. I love red bean. I love sweet rice, it's sticky. I love There's mochi. red bean in this. Wow. Let's first give you guys a close up. It looks like they had more of a design, but the packaging kind of took the design off. So, Mommy, why don't you have the first bite? The top part. It tastes like, um, well, the description online, it says um, it's covered in a kinako glaze. Uh, what's mm. kinako? Yes! Okay, this is what it tastes like. Injeolmi. Yeah. It tastes like injeolmi. Mm -hmm. Injeolmi is uh, kinako. Mm -hmm. Roasted soybean powder. Next, let's try the ube marshmallow cookie. Look at how thick that is. It's thicker than my finger. It's thicker than my thumb. Look at the inside. Marshmallow. Oh, it's very sticky. Oh yeah, it's marshmallow, so yeah, it's sticky. Mm. And the outside, it has that crispiness. Definitely have milk or coffee or tea with it. Do you feel the ube though? We don't need to feel ube because we feel, we see ube color. <laughs> That's enough. There's something naughty uh, flower there. Mm. I'm reading the description doesn't mention nuts but you know like definitely i've had cookies that tasted like this that sweet oily yumminess i am starting to get a little thirsty <laughs> do not tell what kind of cookie is this there is matcha macadamia nut cookie actually right <laughs> no it's a white chocolate <laughs> matcha oh oh that looks so oh. good though look at that I love how like on the top it's cracked. It's got that desert feel to it. I do not like when my skin looks cracked like a desert, but I do love it <laughs> when a cookie looks cracked like a desert. When you suck in the air, as you bite, you feel the matcha. This cookie mm. is much sweeter than ube cookie for me. Instead of milk chocolate, macadamia nut will be better. What do you think about? I do like the matcha and white chocolate combo. Maybe like half and half. Half, half of it remains to be white chocolate, mm -hmm. and then other half is macadamia. That'll be a fun combo. For sure. It's really sweet for me. Mm. All right, really sweet. My favorite is that strawberry cream bun. This is like the perfect amount of sweetness as well, and it's so refreshing. This is something that is delicious in every season, even when it's cold outside, even if it's winter. I like the feeling, but I don't like bread. Oh yeah? It's a chewy mm. for me. Oh, this bread is chewy to you? Yeah, it's, it's really chewy. It's dense and firm, but I don't find it to be like bouncy or anything. Not chewy chewy. What kind of bread do you think would be better? White bread. Love this cream though. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite thing we had from the Origin Bakery? I like this mochi with red bean. Second one, ube. ube. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. 
toodles, my noodles. Oh, my scarf is getting in my box. Now, it turns out the bakery is really busy and there's not a lot of parking next to it. So I had to park two blocks away. Oh, there's parking here for some bread. Now you know. Here are the parking rates for those curious. It's been a weird month. Things happen. I got an allergic reaction, and I think it was because from a piece of jewelry, an earring replacement. Yeah, I don't know what exactly triggered the allergic reaction, but it lasted. I mean, I'm still recovering, but it's way better. At some point, the camera stopped recording, and I don't know when it stopped, so. Anyway, let's eat this. Oh, on the drive here, it was snowing. We're gonna try the stuff from Origin Bakery with Mommy O. And this is the stuff from yesterday that I neatly cut up. It. She already loves it. She didn't even try it, but she loves it. <laughs> I like the. Mm. Let's cleanse our palate. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Hope you enjoyed this bakery tour. Now, this is part one. There are many more bakeries and pastries in Seattle and greater Seattle. And you bet part two is coming. I'm also editing a road trip vlog right now. That's probably going to come out before Bakery Part 2. For more outtakes and bonus footage from this video, check out the exclusive vlog number 9 on Patreon. Yeah. And a head massage. <laughs> All right, all right, you might already know I love to make arts and crafts in my free time. Recently, I experimented with patina paints and sprays, basically DIY rust, and I layer different mediums, like oil pastel. I also finally continued to work on a small sculptural piece, which I started maybe over an year ago. For more artsy fartsy updates, follow my arts and crafts Instagram, at creativechillout. For updates on food, travel, and life, my main Instagram is Miss Mina O. See you in the next video.